Hello, this is Abdi. The topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is sequential criteria for functional limits. We will begin this video tutorial from this very important result on the functional limits. Uh, let's first read what is the statement of this theorem. Uh, the theorem says that if f is a function and a is a limit point of its domain, then the limit of the function f as x approaches to a is l if and only a for all sequence uh, such that the sequence converges to this uh, limit point a uh, then the sequence of the image of uh, a and under f also converge to l and this is a if and only if statement it means if this statement is true for all sequence then the limit of the function f as x approaches to a is equal to l so since this uh, theorem has if and only if condition, so we will prove the uh, two part of this theorem. First, we will prove the forward direction and then we will prove the backward direction. So to prove the forward direction of this theorem, first I will write on what is given and what we want to show. So given is limit as x approaches to a f of x is equal to l. And it is also given that the sequence a n which is converges to a and we want to show that uh, the limit of uh, the sequence f a a of n is also is equal to l so we will start from what is a given so since the uh, limit of this function is converges to l so it means for all epsilon I will use the definition of the limit of a function uh, there exists or we can find a delta which is a strictly positive uh, so that so that the distance between the function and L less than epsilon when the distance between X and A is less than delta also it is given that the sequence a n converges to A so we can use the definition of the convergence of the sequence so at this time uh, since this definition will also be true for all epsilon so but I will choose one particular epsilon so for epsilon this time I'm going to choose epsilon is equal to delta uh, we can find we can find a num natural number capital N so that I can make this difference a n minus uh, a less than delta when little n is bigger than or is equal to capital N and I mark this as equation number 2. So in statement number 1 we replace uh, x by a n so statement 1 will implies f a n uh, minus L this will be a less than epsilon when a n minus a will be less than delta because the statement 1 is true for all x belongs to a and uh, we have that all a n belongs to a so therefore it will be true for all a n as well this is true when n is bigger than or is equal to capital N so I can use this statement number 2 therefore f of a n minus L is less than epsilon when little n is bigger than or is equal to capital N so now again I will use the definition of the limit of a sequence to conclude that this sequence limit as limit n approaches to infinity of this sequence f case of n is equal to l so to prove the backward direction of this theorem first i will write down what is a given and what we want to show so given is uh, for all sequence a n belongs to a such that the, if the sequence a n converges to a implies the sequence f uh, a of n is also converges to a if this statement is true then the limit of the uh, limit of the function f of x as x approaches to a is equal to l 
or in other word for all epsilon positive there exist a delta which is also positive so that the distance between the function f and l is less than epsilon when the distance between x and a is less than delta. We will prove this result by using the method of contradiction. So I will assume that uh, the negation of this statement. So if possible, if possible, assume limit as x approaches to a f of x is not equal to l. So if this limit is not equal to l, it means we need to, we are assuming the negation of uh, this statement. So now first I will write down what is the negation of the statement. So the negation of the statement will be p for all will turn into there exist. It means there exist a epsilon, let's say epsilon 0 positive. Uh, and their exist will convert into for all, for all delta positive and for some x such that when the distance between x and a is less than delta implies the distance between f and l is bigger than or is equal to epsilon 0. Now since this statement is uh, true for all delta, so now I will choose some particular delta. So if this st statement is true for all delta, this will be also true for delta is equal to 1. If I choose delta is equal to 1 half or if I choose delta is equal to 1 third and so on if I choose delta is equal to 1 over n. So this will be true for all delta. So now I will write down what is uh, uh, true for these delta. So for delta is equal to 1, we can find some x. So I will call that x1. So I can find x1 uh, such that the distance between x1 and a is less than 1. And this implies the, diff, uh, the distance between f of x1 and l is bigger than or is equal to x0. Similarly, I will write this statement for delta is equal to 1 half. In this case, I will be able to find x2 such that the difference between x2 and a will be less than 1 half. And this will imply f x2 minus l is bigger than or is equal to epsilon 0. Similarly, for delta is equal to 1 third and delta is is equal to 1n will give me xn such that xn minus a is less than 1 over n implies the difference between f x of n minus l is to be greater than 0. So now I will summarize uh, this construction. So this implies uh, we were able to construct a sequence uh, xn which is uh, converges to a because of uh, this property the difference between the sequence uh, and a is getting smaller as n is getting large uh, but also same time this sequence as the n is getting larger and larger but the distance between is uh, uh, between f of x of n and l is always fixed and is always greater than or equal to epsilon so this implies the limit as x approaches to uh, infinity of this f of n f of x n uh, cannot be equal to l and this is the uh, contradiction to our given statement so we produce a contradiction that this uh, uh, there exists a sequence such that the sequence is converges to a n but uh, the image of this sequence under uh, f is not converges to l so which is a contradiction so it's also complete the proof of our theorem the immediate consequences of the previous result is this corollary so by using the previous theorem and a theorem from the algebraic limit of sequence uh, uh, you can prove the algebraic limit uh, theorem for the functional limits so you say simply combining these theorem will give you uh, these four result. Uh, here is the second application of the previous theorem and this is the divergent criteria for the limit. 
In order to prove that a sequence is a divergent, you need to find the two sequence a n and b n which converges to the same limit a and if you can prove that uh, these sequence when you plug into the function produce a different limit then that means the limit x approaches to a f of x does not exist. Let me give you an example to elaborate this uh, concept a little bit more. So my example is this function f of x is equal to uh, sine 1 over x and I will show that the limit as x approaches to 0 of this function sine 1 over x does not exist. So to prove that I will find two sequence. So I'm going to construct the sequence a n as 1 over uh, 2 pi n and the sequence uh, b n I will take 2 pi n plus pi by 2. So clearly the sequence a n is converges to 0 and sequence b n is also converges to 0. Uh, but if I plug that sequence into my function fx then I will get sine 2 pi n and that will give you 0 because sine 2 pi n is always 0 and if I plug that function the sequence b n into the function then I will get sine 2 pi n plus pi by 2 which is always equal to 1. So this implies the limit as n approaches to infinity of the sequence f is of n is not equal to limit n approaches to infinity sequence f when it evaluate at b n. So this proves that this function does not have limit by using the divergent criteria for functional limits. Next I have this quiz problem for you to practice. Uh, please pause the video for one and two minute and work on this problem. This is also the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.